Welcome to Computer Essentials. My name is Leonard, and I'm going to be your personal teacher. My job is to help you improve your computer skills to get ready for college, a career, and life. What I hear most from my students is they want a way to make studying really fast and easy. They don't want to waste their time. They want a course that makes learning really simple. Here's how Computer Essentials does this. First, we figure out the exact technology skills you need to work on. We do this by asking you to take an assessment or self-evaluation of your skills and experience so that you study only the things that you need to know. Next, we design a personal learning plan just for you. Your learning plan presents the lessons in order from easy to more challenging, making sure you get the foundations first. What makes your learning simple is that we break the material down into easy-to-understand bites. But we don't stop there. I'm always in the background as your personal tutor who is figuring out what you need to brush up on and then making those recommendations to you. This is truly a revolution in learning because it makes everyone a success, no matter how long it's been since they were in school or how they did when they were there. This is our promise to you. If you put in the effort, you will succeed in Computer Essentials. No sweat. See, our philosophy is that everyone can and should be successful at learning. Everyone. No exceptions. This is our job, making learning simple, and we're very good at it. Before you get started, let's talk a little bit about computer learning. Whenever you start a program like this one, I want you to look around the screen. It's natural to look at the center of the screen, where I am, but usually the things you need to do, your controls and navigation, are at the top, bottom, or sides of the screen. Take a moment to look at the top, bottom, and sides now. What do you see? What things could you click on? Why do you think they're there? On this screen, you might notice video controls like volume when you move your mouse over the movie. You might also notice the Get Started button. When you click it, you'll see some options to get you started with studying. The more familiar you become with buttons, icons, and menus, the easier it will be to understand how to use software like Computer Essentials. Each time you see a new screen, your homeroom, a lesson, a unit quiz, or an assessment, take the time to look at the top, bottom, and sides. Figure out the controls and menus and watch the tutorials that help you understand what you can do and how to do it. Ask yourself, how can I move forward? How can I slow down or review? How can I answer questions? What else can I do on this screen? Okay, so now you're ready to go. There are three steps to get started. First, pick a course you want to work on. This question uses a drop-down menu, a pretty important way to provide information on computer forms. The default course is Computing Fundamentals. It's already chosen for you. If you're uncomfortable using computers or have trouble with the drop-down menu, start here. Just click Next. If you want to study something else, click on the drop-down menu and then click on the course you want. Click Next when you've selected your course. Next, make a commitment on how much time you want to study each week. This question uses a text field. That's just a box that you type in. You move your mouse over the box, click, and type a number of hours that you want to study each week. It's important to set a goal so that you have something to aspire to. I'll keep track of your study time and give you an update on your home room. Click Next when you've entered your study time goal. Your last step is to take a quick checkup. This is how I figure out what you need to study. It's your personalized learning plan that ensures your success. In Computing Fundamentals, you'll take a self-assessment to get started quickly and easily. Just click Start Self-Assessment. In the more advanced courses, you can click on Start Self-Assessment to get started quickly with just a few questions, or click Start Assessment to take a full assessment and get a more detailed learning plan. Okay, are you ready to get your Computer Essentials Certificate? Click Get Started.